Welcome to Eat, Pray, Plan. I'm Rebecca. I'm a wife, a homeschool mom to two adventurous boys, and I plan our lives one sticker at a time. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks that have helped me plan a happy life in hopes that they can help you too. So if you wanna see how I do that, come plan with me. Hello again. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I am really excited to be making this video because I've been wanting to share with you an in-depth look into my uh, planning accessories and my tools for 2021. So I am going to start off first with my planning tools. But before I start, I start this video, let me, um, let me tell you that everything that I talk about, the shops that I that I will be uh, sharing with you, uh, Amazon links, all that will be in the description box below. So I won't be uh, mentioning the shops as I'm filming the video for you just because um, it's gonna be very repetitive. So I will just link everything below and after you watch this, if you're interested in something, you can just check all those links below. Okay, so first of all, let me start off by saying that I have definitely downsized in my planning system and my planner supplies for 2021. So I have gone ahead and de-stashed a lot of things. I have uh, figured out my planning system and, um, and what planner I'm gonna use and how I want to plan for 2021. So after much thought and just reflection of what I want from my planner, I have decided to use the A6 planner for 2021. And for my decoration, it will be very functional and my dailies are gonna be, um, are gonna be the ones that I decorate. So with that in mind, I will start sharing with you. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Let me start sharing, like I said before, the tools. So first of all, I do have, uh, I am in a ring, uh, in a ring, uh, binder system and I do print out, uh, a lot of my inserts. So I have purchased some, the majority of my inserts are from Elmont paper Co. Those are the printed ones. And then I do have several shops that I love to um, use their printables and I will link those below and I will talk more about printables and printing uh, and print, printed out inserts when I do my planner setup video, which is coming, that, that's the next one. So if you wanna see that one, make sure to subscribe because I will be sharing that one really, really soon. Okay, so, as far as tools goes, I use the Fisk Cars um, cutter for my for my uh, for cutting my inserts. I found this one months ago at Michaels, and it works great. So it's nothing fancy. It's the Fisk Cars uh, paper trimmer, and then let me just place it here. And then to punch my inserts, I use this one that I don't know the brand. It doesn't say the brand, but like I mentioned before, I will link everything for you below. So this one I love because it, it punches holes for a five, uh, for personal, for a six, for pocket. And it might, it will also punch for personal wide because it's just, you know, the, the, the way the holes are separated. So this is the punch that I use. And then let's go through my two containers of my tools. So I store, I store everything that you're gonna see is store, stored uh, at my desk. So I do also have a desk tour. Um, I could definitely film another one, but the most recent one I will link below and you can see kind of how I have my desk set up and you can see uh, when I talk about, you know, my two drawers and the bottom part of my desk. So I'll give, I'll, I show all that in that video. But um, as far as tools goes, these are the two, um, the two containers that I use to store them. And I have here, so I have divided them into my markers and pens and then my scissors, tweezers. Oh my goodness, you guys. These are my favorite number one tool. Like if I needed to get rid of all my tools, 
I would definitely keep this one. This is the MVP of all my tools. So I have tweezers here. I have um, a, a little paper cutter, the little, what's this called? The little knife, the, the little exacto knife. I have two different types of scissors and the reason is because these are craft scissors. So these, uh, the, I don't know, it cuts smaller pieces, I feel, like smaller stickers, and these are just regular scissors. So I think that the actual blades are like, one is thicker than the other, so that's why the cutting is more precise on this one. And I use them both equally, so I keep them both there. I have a pair of rulers. I have my mechanical pencil. I have the uh, permanent adhesive that I use, white out, a glue stick, and I have an eraser, and then, oh, I have a little stowaway washi, which that needs to go back into the washi bin, and just a stowaway paper clip. So this is what I keep in this little um, pencil holder, and then, I have my markers and my pens. So these two bins I keep on the left side of my desk in a drawer. So that's where I'm gonna place them right now. And then this is my uh, marker and pen holder and I have here all my combos and then the, the two colors that I like from Mild Liners, which are this brown one and two gray ones. And then I have I have more of these at uh, in my closet, but I like to have extras here at my desk. So I keep uh, a Muji pen and then the Signo pen that I love. So these are the two that I use. This one I use in my pocket and this one I use in every other planner. So here I have, I have different shades of Tombos. The majority are from the portrait uh, collection uh, and it's like a portrait pack so it comes with a ton of them. So this is my second little pencil holder. And then I also keep at my desk, I keep um, a few of my sticky notes and I keep them in this clear um, sticky note holder. And then I like to have a pad of paper just on the side, just so I can jot down quick notes or if I need my husband to write something or you know the kids or whatever, this is where my family can leave me notes. They know that they cannot touch my planner. So I always like to have a little pad of paper next to my sticky notes and this one you guys is from the new um i think it's called noted the new collection at target oh my goodness it is so pretty have you guys seen it yet so i just i picked this up like last week i think so these two things stay on the side of my desk and then let's go and let's talk okay let's talk about this little guy here so this is a little, like a little caddy. It's an acrylic caddy and it has four different compartments. And in the first compartment, I have my sticky notes. So this is all I have for 2021. So this is what, what I'm gonna be using. And I have, I'm, I'm participating in the 365 freeze that Holly from Dash of Plans started. And um, and it just consists on being a little bit more mindful of how we spend our money and uh, when it comes to planner supplies. So what you see today is everything that I have for 2021. You can obviously make rules and exceptions. So I will, I do have a video coming up for you where I talk solely about that. So I will share a little bit more about that there, but that's why it's kind of, I kind of reduced everything that I have and owned to what I really use and what brings me joy. So sticky notes on this side, the different shapes of sticky notes. Here I have the tab sticky notes. So here's where I keep all the tab sticky notes. 
and then I have here I've printed out the some extra inserts for my pocket my pocket is very very functional so I just keep dailies lined paper lists and then passwords and some extras for the monthly so this I keep it back here uh, with my tab sticky notes and then here I just have clipped the Ollie clips that I have and these are my favorite these are the snow leopard so I just keep them there I have two already in use one in my a6 and one in my pocket so these are just extras and then here I have the the washi tape that I'm gonna be using and ooh, and I also have I have uh, a second set so when I run out I have here some extras and then I have here some paper clips and pen holders uh, just to have on standby and um, ready to go when I need them. So this is here. And then back here I have the pens that I use, the markers. So my favorite Tombows are the N95, which is a warm gray then the nine the 942 which is a beautiful nude uh, and then with this one i think has like a pink undertone and then the 990 has more of like a yellow undertone so this is 990 and then n89 which is more of a cooler gray so these are the four these are the four tombos that i use in my planner so these are the numbers N, N, uh, 89 N 95 N 40. I'm sorry, not N 42, 942 and 990. So I have them here again. I also have another of the pens and then here I have all of the page flags. So I do, I do love these page flags and, uh, I don't, you know, I don't use them as often. So this is something, this is, so doing the 365 it will also show me what I really, really use and what I don't. And as much as I love the way page flags uh, look, especially this one, this is my favorite, the cashmere. Uh, but I, I don't really use them. I use them just to like mark things off in my planner, like a little tab. But that's it. I don't I don't really have a use for them. So we shall see if I'm not really using them. I will donate them because I don't want to keep anything that I am not using. So this is what my little my first little caddy holds. And um, it's this acrylic little caddy holder that I found at Home Goods. All of my holders are from Home Goods. OK, should we do stickers now? Let's do stickers. Okay, let's do stickers. So next we have this drawer container um, and it has four, it has four small drawers and two longer ones. So let me share with you what I have in here. And these are the functional stickers that I'm gonna be using. And then here, let me just quickly share with you. Uh, this is, Oh my goodness, it's still heavy. Hold on. So this is my entire Happy Planner collection of stickers. This is it, you guys. I have definitely downsized. These are the ones that I took out this morning because I used them for to do my daily. But this is it. So this is all I have as far as like decorative stickers and which are you know mostly floral stickers or my wellness packs um but this is it i've definitely downsized when it comes to sticker packs so these are you know these are the sticker packs that i'm going to be using for 2021 and that's it this is it <laughs> okay so then I have those on the right side drawer at my desk. Okay, so let's start talking these little functional stickers. Let me start here. Okay, so the first one, all the way on the bottom, I keep my, uh, what I like to call like my bullet stickers. So it's dots, it's um, uh, little dots, it's these little dewdrops, it's uh, boxes, 
little washi strips, and my little icons. So here it's a mix of all the different shops that I use. And I have shared with you guys my unboxing and I do have a highlight in my on my Instagram. I do have a highlight where I'm going to share the shops that I'm using for 2021 and link them there. So you can definitely check them out. But this is it. These are these are my functional little like bullets and do drops stickers that I'm going to be using. So I keep these here. I keep these on the bottom drawer and then we have, oh my goodness, I think these are my favorite. <laughs> I am obsessed with these uh, highlighted labels from Papery Planning. So these, I'm going to use these. Let me show you. So let me show you how I'm going to use them. So this is another tease for my 2021 setup, but so you have an idea. So um, I'm using them to label the, my weeklies. So to do home note to self, uh, meal plan, and then I have here week of, and I'm gonna be using them like this because these are the weeklies that I'm gonna be using. So I'm just going to use this, those stickers to label the different sections. So I am, really excited to start uh i already started but to be using these so i have here all my word like label stickers and then i have um so i have two different sets then i have some little ones so all these are you know just labels my finance stickers and I feel that downsizing my sticker collection and really knowing what I have has helped me be more intentional with my planning, but also use the use the things that I have because I feel that if I have too much, I get all sidetracked and then I don't know what I have and I can't use it. So this is the second drawer. It has all my labels and then, so these next two drawers are kind of like extras. So I do have a color scheme uh, that I'm going for for 2021 and this is not it. <laughs> so these are just extra neutral like dots and dew drops that I do use but not as but they don't they're not my color scheme. So if I want to just do some like just pull them out for like notes or lists, I'm going to use this and i have them here and then these are the ones that have the little icons so notes birthdays for youtube uh for like an inbox and then a reminder so i keep these here so i have these here and then here is where my color scheme comes into play so the top drawers are the ones that hold the color scheme for my for my 2021 setup so this is the color scheme that i'm going for and for me picking out a color scheme ahead of time uh just helps me mainstream my planning system and just helps me you know just i don't know not get so squirrely so this is my color scheme so all the stickers that have uh those tones and uh are gonna be here and then these are just uh, some small label stickers that I use and I am just keeping them here at the top. So these are, these are definitely some of my most used ones. So I like to keep them at the top right here. Okay, so this is my sticker collection between the Happy Planner, um, stickers that I showed you and these that's it you guys okay so next let me show you okay let me show you my journaling so for I've been I purchased a journal um I've always journaled on and off but I purchased a notebook that I started using as a journal in November and I have loved it so I went ahead and I also created a little space just for journaling things. So here I have um, like a roll of all, the majority of the journaling things are from
from Jim Holtz Ideology, and um, I found them at Hobby Lobby. So these, this is just like some, um, a roll of paper. And I have here my extra glue sticks. These notebooks, I love. I just received these uh, recently um, from Tidbit Planners and I love them. So I use them just to jot down quick ideas. I take, I take, I have one at my in my room because I use it in the morning I don't know with coffee I get a lot of really good ideas so I just use these really quick to like journal just really quick ideas so that's why I have kept them here and then I have this punch and these are the only washies that I'm using for journaling because again I like I want to keep it simple and you know not not get too overwhelmed and not have too much stuff because then the whole process of journaling it's just going to be overwhelming so i have those and then back here i have my stickers and my paper so i have a pack of these labels so these are really cool because it comes in black and in white and they're it's called small talk so it says look it says start doing things you love have an open heart um i'm i'm happiest when i'm with you when nothing is sure everything is possible live create tell the story so it's really cool because it has a lot of like really nice um like really nice sayings um out of limitations come creativity for good it's all perspective look on the bright side and you get a couple of pages in white and a couple of pages in black so i have those back there then i have these i purchased these also at hobby lobby and it's just a pack of these beautiful stickers and i just because it's it's the big pack so i just cut them so they could fit in my in my little storage container so um yeah so that's that and then i have some extra flowers and then let's see oh here i have a small pad of scrapbook paper which I love, love, love this like whole like vibe and theme, like antique -y. I love it, it's so pretty. And then I just have a pack of black and beige and white paper. And then by the computer, I keep a pack of like a rose set of paper, which has different shades of pinks and moms, but that's it. That's all I'm gonna use for, for journaling. Okay, and then, let's see let's see okay so this i think i am really excited to be sharing this with you guys so i cannot take credit for this idea i saw it on one of my planning facebook groups i cannot remember what group it was i cannot remember who shared it so if you just happen to watch this and you're the one who shared it please shout yourself out in the comments below because this idea is genius okay so this is how i am storing my inserts all my a6 inserts this is where they will be my used ones and my unused ones so i purchased during black friday i purchased a pack of the i pur purchased three packs of the uh, monthly tab dividers so these are planner tab dividers and they're from cloth and paper so I purchased three colors the three colors that she has available and I am using them as dividers so this first pack is gonna hold my 20 um, my 2021 inserts so i am gonna organize them by month so all of my january inserts are gonna be here uh february march and so on and then the next set of inserts is my oh my extras so the ones okay here we go so the pink color is all my extra inserts so i have just flipped it over 
That way I don't see it because I don't need it by month. And the way that I've organized it is I have organized it based on the CEO dividers, which are the dividers that I use in my planner. So they're the dividers that are divide that are labeled schedule, lists, projects, finance, goals, and misc. So the same exact way I have divided these. So I have, um, let me put this in here so it might be easier. I just don't want the glare. There's a lot of acrylic here, so I don't want the glare being too bothersome. So, okay, so let me, let me show you. Okay, so first off here, I have the first section has all of my monthly inserts. So here I have the extra inserts that I'm not using right now in my planner. So from May until December of my monthly inserts. And then I have the pack that I purchased of monthly cards. So then I have them here. And then my next section is my weekly. So my weekly section holds the extra weekly inserts that I am not using, but I need to have handy for when I run out and I just keep them here. Then I have all of my dailies because I love daily planning. So I have here um, the ones that I'm gonna use for daily gratitude. So I have some in, already in my planner, but then I have some here from May until December. I have this style of dailies. I have this style of dailies. I have a ton of those. So I do need to print out one more style that I use, but I have them all ready to go for when I, for when I run out. Uh, so my dailies are next. Then the next section is my list section. So these are all my extra list inserts. I have some already in my planner, but these are just the extra ones. Um, and then I have my project. So my projects, here are the extra project inserts. And next I have my finance. So I did purchase several finance inserts from Elmon Paper Co. So here are the extra ones. So I have them all here. And then we have habits. So my habit inserts and some lined paper because the, the dividers are divided into habits and ideas. So I just have lined paper for when I need to add more lined paper. Oh man, I messed up. Uh, I put them in the wrong thing. Let's see, hold on. Okay, there we go, habits go there. And then here I have miscellaneous. So in the miscellaneous section, I have my half sheets, some extra inbox uh, inserts, and then reading lists that I had printed these out initially because I was gonna keep my reading list in my A6 planner, but I decided to go with my personal, so I just kept them here because you never know, I may change my mind. And then, oh, and then here, here I have all of my um, extra like little task cards. I have um, those little cards that we get when we order stuff, those little freebie cards. I have dashboards. Let's see what else I have. I have all my extra dashboards so I don't print again. So for example, this one's the one that I used for fall. So I used it all this year for fall. Well, not the entire year, but I used it for fall. And this I used for winter. So then I don't have to, re I don't have to print them out again. So I just have them here. And then some extra vellum dashboards. And yeah, so here is where I keep my dashboards and those little journaling cards that we get and then last but not least I have in the pink section I have all of the inserts from 2020 from 2020 so I did start using a six in September 
I think it was August, but I started keeping September on, so I have everything. I have my weeklies, I have my dailies, I have my notes, so I do need to go through and see what I can toss, but I don't really throw away um, my inserts just because I love to keep my stickers on my inserts, so I don't wanna use them and then throw them away, but for example, lists and stuff like that, I will toss. And then you just have a little extra one, and then I have this other one, which is an extra one that I can just um, turn it around or repurpose it for, or use it for 2022. <laughs> Who knows? But I just went ahead, since it was Black Friday and it was a good deal, I just went ahead and I bought all three colors. And I just have here extra, some extra sticky notes that I'm holding, I'm putting them here so the, the dividers stand straight, but when I start filling out my 2021 section, I will take those out. But yeah, so this is how I store my, my dividers, I'm sorry, my inserts for A6 size. So yeah, it fits perfect in this box. I absolutely love it. So again, if you came up with this brilliant idea, oh my goodness, thank you so much. Okay, so this is it. I think I didn't forget anything. I don't think so. I think I shared everything, my entire storage system, how I'm gonna store everything. I will share with you guys, uh, my next video will be my 2021 setup. So stay tuned for that. And I will also link below my um, desk tour area, like my office space, so you can kind of see how my, um, how my desk, like the configuration of my desk, so you can see. But yeah, this is it, you guys. This is all I will be using in 2021. I am really excited. Uh, we're just a few days away, so um, yeah. This is it. This is my storage system. I really appreciate you spending this time with me watching this video. And if you liked this video, don't forget to like, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next one, which will be a flip, a detailed flip of my 2021 setup. Okay, you guys, this is it for me. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope I was able to inspire you a little bit as far as like planning and accessories and storage goes. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. And again, check out the description box because I will link all the information there. Okay, you guys, have a wonderful evening. Bye.